Hey guys, so first of all, I would like to apologize for the misinformation in my previous video where I did the calculation for um, side cubes for Isolt and I mentioned that her debuff actually works in activating um, Blasphemer of Night but actually it doesn't. So I just read it up and I have a better idea now regarding debuff and the classification of debuff. So I would like to share that in this video and to correct some of the misinformation that I have provided. So first of all, um, Blasphemer of Night, when the carrier attacks, if the target has two or more negative status, damage dealt plus 12% and at amplify, amplification level five is 24%. The problem is that not all debuff are considered negative status. So there are three type, and the first is stats down. So you can see for example, Spirit Medium, uh, Shaman's Incantation, Mass Debuff, Damage Taken plus 10%, and Reality Defend and Mental Defend uh, minus 15%. So this is the stats down. It directly affects the stats. So it is not a negative status, but it is classified as stats down, right? So for example, 6 as well. 6 has 6 different types of debuff, 3 of them which is critical defense down, reality defense down, and mental defense down, and these are also stats down. Alright, so the second type is negative status. So this is the one that is required by Blasphemer of Night. So poison is a negative status. Burn, I didn't list it here, but burn from Isolt herself, that is a negative status. So Fracture, Miss Aim, Blind, which is from 6, they are all negative status. So Nasty Wound, uh, Rigidity, Confusion. So be very careful um, and do check on it. Like you click on the units, you click on the skill, they will list the debuff. So click on that and it will have this status um, beside the name of the debuff where it will specify if it is a negative status. So if it doesn't have that, like you are not able to click on the debuff to get the description, then it is usually stats down. So apart from negative status, there is another one, and that is control. So similarly, control does not contribute to Blasphemer of Night because what that side cube one is negative status, not control, not stats down. So Esol herself are only able to inflict one negative status. So if you want Isolt to be able to use Blasphemer of Night, then you have to get another unit that can do negative status as well. All right, so all in all, um, her own side cube is more generic, but if you have Blasphemer of Night, I would say just try it out first. Bring another unit that can inflict another negative status. Actually, to Fairy Confusion, um, can fulfill that requirement as well. So, but do check on it, all right? So just be careful, do not make the same mistake that I do. Do check on the debuff and what it is classified as. So as for control here, we have seal, disarm, silence, petrify, and nightmare. Basically anything that disable the enemy, that causes the enemy not able to attack. So usually those are classified as control. And since we are at this topic, so for buff, there is also different category as well. So stat up, for example, Exhortation 9, which is Sonato's Incantation, is a mass buff that increases damage dealt by 15% and damage taken minus 15%. So overall, it adjusts the stats. So this is a stat up buff. And for example, Great Inspiral, which is from Dali, that also increase um, damage bonus, is also stats up. And from 6, we have like increased ultimate might, damage taken reduction up, penetration rate up. Those are all status up. So if you just, if you're confused, so basically when you're in the fight, just click on your unit and it will list the entire buff and debuff and you will also list what type of category that they are actually classified as. And for positive status, so like sturdiness is a positive status. Although it actually reduces the damage taken, um, which is like stats up, but it is classified as positive status. So um, here we also have Spatodias pre-indiction, also positive status. Exhilaration, also from Spatodia. Then Isolt, Power Burst, as well as Rousing Morale, they are also a positive status, although it actually affects the stats, like just stats up. But anyway, so if you don't want to be confused, just click on the buff itself, and then you know what classification they are at. 
you know, what classification they are. And lastly, the third type of buff, which is counter. So we have like ricochet, which is a counter, and then taunt is also a counter. So this information may be important, especially if you have characters like Pickles uh, that dispels enemies buff. And just for your information, the new unit that we will be getting in China, uh, which is Mercuria, also have dispel. So is depending like pickles it can dispel counter but i know there are some characters that dispel but they do not dispel counter right which is why the raid marsh creation was uh tailored more for pickles because he has the ability to dispel the counter so right so basically uh, i hope this video provides some information to you regarding the classification of debuff and buff and hopefully in the future when there are more side cubes or units that plays around with this term it is clearer to everyone at least now i learned something new so anyway uh thank you for watching and i hope you find this video useful if you do please do subscribe thank you